I had Lavelle Crawford on my show a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, Lavelle. Yeah, he travels with us also. Oh, yeah. Really funny guy. Yes, sir. And he feels that Hollywood only allows one black comedian at a time. Well, you said that the industry sets it up for only one black comedian at a time. Yeah. It's, Explain. It's proven fact. Think about it. Kevin Hart, they think he's the only comedian in the world right now, for real. Because, I mean, he's not. Even if he helps out, they, oh, Kevin Hart, oh, he's the greatest. No, he's not. He's good. I love Kev, you know, but he know it. He's riding that vehicle, Cat William before him, and then he went he went loco, you know, a little bit. I don't know what happened. God bless him. He's my friend. I love him to death. But Cat William, one comedian, and it be just, it just like steps. Great example. Hollywood only allows one lady at a time. Jones yeah. River. Joan Rivers. Huh. Roseanne Barr. Now, right now, it's Amy Schumer. It was Sarah Silverman a few years ago, remember? Mm -hmm. That's Hollywood. They will only allow one at a time. And if you're at that spot, um, Kevin Hart, right now. Right now. Right now, you know, before that, uh, you, you go to your Chris Rock and you just go down the line, you go like, one at a time, one at a yep. time. Yep. Eddie Murphy before him. Eddie Murphy, there you go. Yep. And so I'm you still new. So you never know. Next year it could be me. Mm -hmm. Could be you. you know, I'm yeah. And I've interviewed I uh, I've interviewed other comedians. I've asked that same question. Like Dion Cole agrees with Lavelle Crawford. I don't know where this is coming from and why this happens, but they give one comic a shot, one black comic at a time a shot. Like they will not do another movie, another big blockbuster movie with no other. Comedian studios go, hey, we need this guy, and there's nothing. I love Kevin, love Kevin to death. That's my guy all day long. But and this is his time, definitely. But yeah. and each and each comic gets that moment where I mean, it, I remember it was just Martin, Martin all the time, right. and it was like Will Smith. It was Will Smith all the time. Like well, they, I mean, Will Smith's not a comedian, but he's a comedian. I'm talking about giving like a black person its moment at the time. But I understand what you're saying. As far as comic, yes, they don't. They do that. They give like a comic a time, which is crazy because I feel as though that if you give a comedian a platform, to, you give him a movie to do the movie to do a movie, he's gonna bring his comedic timing to that movie and make it a whole new movie. He's gonna make it better, and you can make a gang of movies if you just base it on the stand up of that comic. D. Ray Davis. Yes. Also, also I work agrees, with D. Ray but, Davis. I work with all these guys. Yep. But, you know, like for example, D. Ray Davis said that, well, Hollywood wasn't built by us. So what do you expect? It's like any other job, any other corporation that if it's not made for you or built by us, how can you expect them to give you a job in their environment that's not for you? Mm. How many how many black people are really going to the movies and have money to go to the movies and like that consistently? I think quite a number. I mean, look at how well Barbershop did. Collaboration of, of, of talent in it. Ice Cube, Eve, you, you put. Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. You put, for, and I was, yeah, the second one, you put so many people in there. We got to pile on people. We can't have one person unless it's Will Smith. And even when Will Smith was in the movie by himself, he had to be, it, even in the movie by himself, he's, you know, it's, it's the zombies around him. There's no other black, black people around him. You know what I mean? So it's like, they, we separate so we can go see it, target market. That's what, that's what happens. That is true too. So once again, that takes us back to be the best you can be the best you you can be. Like everybody doesn't know who George Wallace, but like I say, I got, I'm the most successful person you ever met. Enough people know me to say I'm at the right place at the right time. I don't need to be number one. I'm teaching the young kids: don't worry about getting to the top of the mountain. Just be on your way up the mountain. So yeah. Anderson Cooper, Seinfeld, and I were talking about: is it better to be rich or famous? And we were talking and talking, and then hit me in the head like, you know what? I probably got it better than both of you guys. I got enough money to retire. I got enough money to travel. I do everything y'all do. I got enough people walking down uh, Central Park West, enough people, hey, Mr. Wallace, satisfy my little ego. Only difference in me and you two guys is I can go pee. You guys can't go pee. Yep. Sometimes yep. you don't well, need I mean, all of that fame. People are always following you. You can't even leave your house without a camera, you know? I agree. I mean, that's why I stay behind camera. I actually like to go to the grocery store by myself and Ooh, be left alone. Really? I love really? going to your People say, what are you doing? That's a stupid-ass question, dude. What are you doing in the grocery store, Mr. Wallace? Because I'm hungry, you stupid. 
Don't you like doing little things? You can go and just go out and have fun. I just left Central yep. Park today, just walking through the park. I had lunch at the boathouse. I like doing things mm -hmm. like that. Yep. You know, when I and when I'm out with my really, with my one really rich friend, it's it's always, it's nice, but it's yeah. it's different. It's people different. are watching yeah. you. People come up and bother you, disturb you. Yeah, man. I'd rather be rich than famous, honestly. Well, and, and the two do, the, the two don't always rich. go together. You are rich. Don't nobody know who your ass is. Exactly. Exactly. And I like it like that. So I like I it that way. I'm going to kick my ass. 